to Trailer Talk. It's season two of my favorite show on television that's not on television. It's called Trailer Talk. It's where I sit near my trailer at The Voice and I talk to people and we sing a song. So this one is back to season 17 of The Voice and I've got the perfect guests to kick off the new season. Um, they're all my fellow coaches on The Voice because they're very easy to book because the trailers are right near me. And I'm going to introduce you to all of them one by one. First of all, it's Kelly Clarkson. Oh my God. What's up, John? I just have to be here now. Yes. Hello, Kelly. What's up? And then my very first Trailer Talk guest ever, he knows his way around a trailer. His name is Blake Shelton. <laughs> Camera's right there. All right. <laughs> Brought my pillow. <laughs> there you go. Last time I was on your show. Did you call up a horse Cheers. or? And uh, in case you don't know, Blake Shelton has taken a lover, and <laughs> she is a fantastic artist. She was a former coach on The Voice, and she is back. Her name is Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Um, welcome back to the show. Are you excited to be back on I'm voice? really excited to be back on the show. This is the best show in the world. Did you miss it? I did miss it. I never, you know, this is the thing about life. Sometimes you have these amazing things happen and then they get taken away from you. So then if you get them back, <laughs> taken. you appreciate yeah, This show was taken away from me. Who took it? By Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> what? Oh, what? No, it was. I'm joking. I have no idea. Oh, I don't know the order, but you know, I did it and then I didn't. And just so everyone knows, I'm not being rude. Gwen's outfit makes it easier for her to stand than to sit. I would have given her He's one of my cheap chairs. Don't let him lie. Um, you really prove yourself this season. We'll have you a chair. We'll get trailer. you a chair next time. Trailer time. Um, so uh, a lot of rumors have been swirling around about you and Blake, Gwen. Um, Congratulations. I'm, I've, I've been told through Star Magazine that you guys are getting married. Have you popped a question, Blake? things out of people. I'm like Oprah. I'm God, like Barbara Walters. Lie, like, Are you guys going to cry? I want people to cry. Every couple loves that when you're dating. Yeah, it's when like, you when, you, when, you, when you get married, when you get married. Marriage come out for lunch. Marriage. what do you want for lunch? Oh, I understand. I understand. Now, Gwen, I want to go back, way back to the beginning with no doubt. Let's talk a little bit about how the band was formed. And what those early days were like? Um, okay, so that, that was a long time ago, and I have a big brother called Eric Stefani, uh -huh. and he was like, he's like a little bit of a genius, would you say, Blake? And he did music. Compared he, to your other brother, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Todd. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he wanted to start a band with this guy, John Spence. This is like in high school. Uh -huh. And we did this like high school talent show, and we had like, there was like 50 of us on stage, and we we were called Apple Corps. Apple Corps. Yeah, and then it was. And what was your vibe musically? We were all into like super like ska. Uh -huh. At the time, more ska than anything else. And then we thought we discovered something that was so like unique and original and like underground. And then we just kept going with it. I was 17, and then we really started like no doubt. They just kept evolving, evolving. And nine years into it, um, I wrote a song called Just a Girl. Uh -huh. I got on the radio. Never heard of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard. Did of you it. cover that song, Kelly? I have covered. I've covered actually plenty. <laughs> a lot of West songs. How many songs? I might be a super fan. That's so crazy. I'm a big fan. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that so cool? They get to be on the same show together. Now. I don't know, like sit next to her. They get to meet, talk meet, to each other. It's so casual. They do play dates with the kids. It's like it's amazing. It is crazy. It's amazing. So talk about "Don't Speak." What was like the motivation behind the song? Well, Who that, wrote it with you? That's actually a really interesting song because my brother had written the song. He would like stay up all night and then we'd come back to rehearsals and he'd be like, oh, I wrote this last night. And he had written the song and it had this really long verse. And the verse was like, um, I can see it all in an odd link. I know everything about how you are. I can understand. It went on and on and on. And it was like this whole thing. And the record company at the time was trying to like produce us a little bit and like reel it in. 
and he was really stubborn, and he was like, okay, fine, let's just cut it down, and then it was like, you and me, like, it was these, like, really short, Simple like, lines, yeah, so yes. then, and then I had just gotten, like, dumped, um, okay. really, 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 Who would really dump badly. What kind of a moron? What kind of idiot? <laughs> okay. I was super dumped and, okay. um, rejected. And, uh, Made so then, for a really great album. So then I turned the song into that. So okay. that's how it turned. It was basically not a song about me, though. Well, let's sing Don't Speak. I think that okay. song could prove very relevant this season. Who knows? Oh, gosh. Wait, what is, what do you, you know what? I don't Talking know. Talking jokes. Who knows? Now he's in on it. Who somebody knows what? within this panel that First of all, speaks a lot. Both <laughs> of us talk quite a bit. Uh, and y'all talk. Y'all are just slow. Uh, let's sing it. This will be my first time playing this song, so forgive okay. me if I mess up. I'm the lead. You're the lead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, what? Here we go. You and me. Hey! 